The coronary arteries are the blood vessels that supply oxygen to the heart muscle. Because the heart muscle is always contracting, it needs a steady flow of blood to bring it nutrition and oxygen. When children develop Kawasaki disease, the walls of these arteries become inflamed. If we could go inside the blood vessels, we might see something like this. Normally, a cell layer called the endothelium protects the vessel wall and prevents blood cells from leaving. However, some trigger during the development of Kawasaki disease causes the endothelial cells to become activated and causes cells of the immune system to stick to the endothelium and leave through the blood vessel wall. Inflammation in the vessel wall is caused by immune cells gathering in the wall and liberating chemical signals that recruit more cells and further damage the vessel wall. Intravenous gamma globulin, or IVIG, interacts with these cells to quiet down the immune response, although the exact mechanism of how this is achieved are poorly understood. When inflammation occurs in the vessel wall, it causes the artery to dilate. About one-third of children in the early or acute stage of Kawasaki disease will experience dilated or widened coronary arteries. If the patient is treated with a protein solution called gamma globulin or IVIG within the first 10 days after fever onset, the chances of the dilated artery returning to normal size without scarring are excellent. However, if the inflammation is treated late or the IVIG infusion is not effective, permanent damage can occur to the arterial wall. Sometimes this results in a ballooning out of the wall called an aneurysm. This ballooning of the vessel causes the blood to swirl and increases the risk of blood clot formation. If the blood clot continues to grow, this may result in blockage of the vessel and a heart attack. In many cases, scar tissue will begin to form in the aneurysm over time and the blood vessel will heal. However, the blood vessel is never again completely normal and many years after Kawasaki disease, scarring could lead to narrowing of the vessel and again present a risk for heart attack.